Hello, folks. I uh, wanted to give a bit of a review on Final Fantasy XIV. First of all, yes, I am wearing glasses. Unfortunately, I scratched my cornea, and so wanted to wear my glasses for a little while to heal. Uh, that aside, second part is uh, I am still very active in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm playing on the Marlboro server uh, with guild name Polaris. So you can send Togoth Seafoam a message, or, uh, you know, basically, that's me. If uh, We'll try and get you in. Um, you know, I, I've been having fun trying to get to the top. Now, some of the things that I've, I've kind of seen in the game, things I like, things I dislike, I'll kind of start off with some of the dislikes because I, I really do enjoy the game. Um, there are still a few things it feels like Square Enix just hasn't really caught up on. Gold spamming is still a giant problem. Um, you're just constantly bombarded by messages of selling gold. People are getting banned, accounts are getting, you know, all of that, but still, it's it's kind of a major problem. I don't even know what goals, goes on in the world chats anymore, just because it's, it's really bad. And uh, other games, I believe, like Guild Wars, you could right-click on the person's name, report, gold selling, done. You know, you automatically blocked them, a report was filed. In this game, you have to, like, hit escape, you know, system, type in their, you know, file a complaint, type in their name. It, it, it's just, it's way too many steps to really get to the bottom of it. Um, that's really my late leading complaint, though. Uh, the maps can be a little bit difficult to navigate at first. It does take some time to get used to the maps. Um, they just feel a little bit awkward at first, but I, I found that I've gotten used to them now, and they're, they're pretty easy. Um see some other things. Server stability issues have all been solved. There's now an idle logout timer, which is great. Um, I haven't had any problem getting into the game. I've had some little lag spikes here and there, but I'm going to put that more towards my own ISP than towards, uh, you know, the actual game, because everybody else I've talked to hasn't been experiencing them. Um, so that's always a good sign. The game itself is just very fun. There's a challenge to it again, and this is what I love in MMOs. I haven't seen this in a long, long time, that I'm actually getting challenged by the game. Um, I actually like playing as a tank and uh, feeling like I'm doing something. Uh, as the dungeons go on, and it may not seem that way at first, um, I would say around the mid-30s is when I started saying, like, wow, that's pretty tough. And then as it goes on, I mean, there are some fights that, that really require coordination, and that's what's awesome. A lot of the fights aren't DPS races or gear checks or stuff like that. Um, they're coordination races. You know, how coordinated is your group? And with a group full of pugs, that can be difficult. Now, one of the things they do that's very interesting is that there aren't a lot of quests in the game. There's not an overabundance of them. Um, I've n never really had to just grind monsters. There's other things that you can do, but uh, one of the big things is you follow your story quest uh, through the game, and that's kind of what unlocks more quests for you, and, and even side quest stuff. A lot of it tends to follow the story quest. A lot uh, For pretty much every dungeon, there's a couple exceptions, you will have to do the dungeon to advance your story, so you will have to group up. This can be very frustrating for people. Um, you know, there's definitely some fights that I've been frustrated with because people just don't pay attention. A lot of people, I think, are very used to easier MMO, easier mechanics, where they can just kind of spam a button and not pay attention. You really, I think most people who play it would, would attest that you do need to pay attention during the games, especially some of the primal fights and, uh, you know, some of the bosses in the dungeons. You, you have to pay attention or you're going to die and really screw your group over. Uh, you know, especially if you want to play a tank or a healer, make sure you're, you're definitely on the ball. It's not super hard, but it does require some attention. And that, to me, has been why I love the game the most. Um, there's just so much what feels like fun challenge. It's, it's rewarding to beat a dungeon. It's rewarding to take down some of the big primal fights. You just feel good about it. Um, I think I'm really, I, I'm probably the farthest along in our guild anyway, content-wise. I'm not even 50 yet, and I've, I've loved it. I've loved the whole journey to 50, and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the game opens up and what more they do in it. Uh, you guys are, you know, as I said, more than welcome to, uh, to join us. You know, basically just looking for great personalities. Um, I, I care more about 
can you kind of learn the game and uh, have fun with it as opposed to being a hardcore raider who, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't need people yelling. Um, you know, it's one of the things that I try to be incredibly positive during dungeons because, well, I've played too much League of Legends, to be honest, and uh, negative attitude. I'll scream and bitch and holler in guild chat or uh, in team speak, but in the actual dungeon with pugs, I tend to be very, all right, guys, we got it this time, you know. But uh, ultimately, my recommendation, I would, I would definitely, uh, you know, recommend this game to people. Um, I have recommended it, and uh, a lot of people who've played it have really, really enjoyed it. It's just, it's a very relaxing type of MMO where you're, you're back into, you know, you're grinding, the story's kind of cool, and then, holy shit, it's three hours later. What, what the fuck just happened? You know, that's, that's what I really loved in it. I haven't really felt the chore of leveling up. Um, what's also cool is that they will downscale you for dungeons, so you can still dungeon with your friends and things like that. And, uh, you know, the crafting system I haven't even gotten into yet. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to that. Um, I love the idea of multi-classing in the game. So you basically have a, a main class that you're leveling up, but you can take abilities from other classes that you leveled up based on the abilities. So, uh, for example, I'm, I'm playing a, one of the tanks in the game, a paladin. Um, meaning I needed 30 levels of Gladiator, which was the tank, and then 15 levels of Arcanist. So uh, I basically wanted to get the Arcanist out of the way right away, move up to Paladin. I wanted to get my Paladin to 50. And then there's some other classes, like um, I think a Lancer class gets uh, Regenerating TP, which is tech points, kind of just a, similar to a Mana Bar type of thing. There is mana in the game, there's tech points, uh, you know, you start to get it. But uh, ultimately, I, I really recommend the game. And uh, if you're kind of on the, the fence about it, you know, I, I would recommend it. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've, I've really been enjoying it. So uh, hopefully you guys will too. So as always, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, tune in to the next. Thanks for watching, folks.